see molten steel, molten steel running down the channel wheels, like you're in a foundry, mm -hmm. yeah. like lava. Like, like like the fires got very intense down there and actually melted beams where it was molten steel that was being dug out. It's this fused element of, of steel, mo molten steel and concrete and all of these things all fused by the heat into one single element. And almost like a chunk of lava from Kilauea or Iceland where they're very sharp but, but breakable shards on the end here. You saw it steel, some of the thickest steel I've ever seen bent like a pretzel. And you just couldn't imagine the force that that took. The grapplers were, were pulling stuff out, uh, big sections of iron that were literally on fire on the other end. They would hit the air and burst into flames, which was uh, pretty spooky to see. There was even a point where um, you would create an air pocket by moving steel, fueling the fires on the ground, it would ignite cars and cars would just blow up. But, you know, these underground fires were just uh, like the fires of hell. This is how it's been since day one. Oh, it's unbelievable. And this is six weeks later, almost six weeks later. And as we get closer to the center of this, it gets hotter and hotter. It's probably 1,500 degrees. We've had some small windows into um, what we thought was a board at some point, and it looked like a, uh, an oven. You know, it was just roaring inside. And it was just a bright, bright reddish-orange color. See that stuff he's pulling out? What was that shit? You're gonna hold, we're going to hold off on the water. See the stuff he's pulling out? Yeah. It's red hot. If we hit it too much steam, you won't be able to see what he's doing. Great. You see how this debris is still smoking? That's from the fires that are still burning. Eight weeks later, we still got fires burning. Every now and then, one of the pieces of equipment will dig in. They'll open up a small area. The oxygen will rush in, and you'll get this plume of brown, black smoke coming up. That's because that fire just got more oxygen. So, I mean, these things are burning. At one point, I think they were about 2,800 degrees. Underground, it was still so hot that molten metal dripped down the sides of a wall from Building 6. There were fires of 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit below the ground. And all of a sudden, he comes out of this little tunnel, screaming, wait till you see what I found. And he pulls in ministers and uh, officials, and there, this cross is fully extended, melted together with the intense heat, the two beams were never initially part of the same structure. Heat literally melted them together. And the piece of metal that's draped over was molten metal that had literally fallen over one of the arms. Steel-toed boots is one of the biggest things. Um, steel-toed boots? Steel-toed boots. Out still on the rubble, it's still, uh, I believe, 1,100 degrees. The guy's boots just melt within a few hours. Uh, it was literally steaming. Your boots would melt in certain areas. That's how hot it was. The steel was coming out red in certain areas from the first couple of weeks at least. They've begun using heavy equipment to haul away the wreckage of building number seven, regardless of the fact that it's still burning. At the canteen, we hear some of the truck drivers complaining that some of these girders are so hot they cause the beds of the dump trucks to crack and split open. And the fire hoses up top still pouring water on wreckage that has smoldered for 12 weeks now. There was a, like a little river of steel. Because when you were down there, the, you have to remember above you, the project was on fire for months. So, in one, we were down, uh, down at the B1 level, and uh, one of the firefighters uh, said, I think you'd be interested in this, and, and they pulled off a big block of concrete, and there was a, like a little river of steel. 